Adolf Hitler was responsible for some of the most terrible crimes against humanity in the history of the world. But he was also responsible for one of the most successful cars the world has ever seen. Dr. Ferdinand Porsche designed the KDF Wagen, KDF standing for Strength Through Joy, for Hitler in the night, late 1930s. Germany's car industry had cooperated unwillingly in the, de in the development of the car, and although they offered to build the finished prototype, Hitler himself decided the new car would be built in an all-new factory with a new town to support it and its workers. That town was called Wolfsburg. By the end of 1939, the car the world was to know as the Beetle was ready for production, but then larger affairs of state intervened and the Second World War started. During the war, Wolfsburg was turned into a military machine and bombed heavily for its pains. The story of how a British army major walked into the derelict factory in 1945, restarted production of the Beetle for army staff cars, and ultimately, after offering it to Ford and Triumph and General Motors and being turned down, set it up as a car factory again. In 1946, the bombed-out shell had built 10,000 Beetles. By 1948, the 25th thousandth had been built, and the one millionth Beetle was built in 1955. Today, with the car still being built in South America, production has exceeded 21.5 million units. Of course, the world has moved on from the comparatively basic Beetle. Production in Europe ceased 20 years ago. Nevertheless, the Beetle still has a powerful hold on people's imaginations. And the appearance of Concept One, a Beetle-inspired design exercise on a golf platform at the 1994 Meta Show, was a sensation. Volkswagen said it had no plans to build the car, but it was inundated with inquiries from Europe and the States. Within months, the company was forced to announce that the car would be a production model, and it's now being built in Mexico. Will the new Beetle Mania be as strong as that of its legendary predecessor? Well, that, as they say, is up to you.